pieces that are in the we're live. Good evening, folks. Welcome to Monday, July the 27th, 2020, to the Board of Works of the City of Scottsdale. And Scottsdale Day has been warm and rainy, storming outside right now. So uh, hopefully in your house, it's, uh, it's nice and sunny. So anyway, let's uh, call our meeting to order. So we'll have a roll call first, please. Mayor Amy. Here. Tom Lewis. Here. Karen Gray. Here. The next thing we have is the approval of the minutes from July the 13th. If you've had a chance to go over those minutes and are satisfied with them, we will ex we'll entertain a uh, motion to accept the minutes as presented. I like that motion. Tom Lewis makes the motion. Is there a second? I will second. Okay, Richard seconds. Any comments or questions? Very good. All in favor say aye. 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 Close like sign. So moved. Next we have, first thing we have is the department heads. We have uh, Chief Sellers. Right. You're up, buddy. I have, uh, I asked the board, I'm going to try to, I'd like to promote four officers. I'll take them one at a time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Number one is Seth Allen. He's uh, currently a rookie patrolman. Um, I'd like to promote him from the first class. He's a recent graduate of the academy. It's customary when they graduate, at least when they graduate from the academy, to be promoted to that uh, position of the first class of the um, The second is uh, Travis Burr. He's currently from the first class. I'd like to promote him to sergeant. Uh, he has, he either has, it's right at about 20 years he's been on. They've done a good job for me, but it's time to come up. And then the other two would be Steve Harrell and Brian Hall. They are currently sergeants. I'd like to promote both of them to lieutenant. Uh, Steve works all 99% of our detective cases and, and works most of our drug cases for us. Um, does a great job. He has a good report with the prosecutor's office, handles almost all of our uh, Department of Child Services cases. Jim's cases, and then uh, Brian Hall's been on many years also, he, he see 20 plus years. Brian runs a lot of traffic, does a good job, stays busy, he's also our evidence technician guy. So all the evidence that comes in, he's responsible for taking care of it. Um, he records it in, logs it out, got to go to court, things such as those nature. Um, the money's in our budget. Um, I'd like it to go in effect August 2nd, which gives the, the clerk's office time. But, Make those adjustments, and uh, uh, that's it. Any questions? I'll try to answer. Yeah. What, what are the uh, different? The ranks of rookie patrolmen when they're first hired on, and then go to patrolman first class, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, major, which is my assistant chief, and then chief. Okay. And the, the line you were going to promote to the uh, okay. right. Yeah, the one the sergeant is Trevor. The one I want to promote to sergeant is Trevor Spur. He's currently the patrolman first class. Okay. And what would the other two? I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, there's, there's actually four total. The first one is, is Seth Helton. He just graduated from the academy. Okay. And then Travis Spur, and then uh, Steve Harold and Brian. And those were going to be promoted to. I'm sorry, so did you want to promote those two? The Brian. two sergeants want to promote the lieutenants. That's the test promoter. So once to sergeant, once to a two lieutenant, and then one to a first one to rookie to patrol the first class. Okay. Good. I don't have any other questions. I need the board to approve that and motion for it. All right. I'll make a motion to approve the chief's recommendation for promotions. That recommendation be for all four officers as presented. Is that correct? Correct. Do we have a motion? To go forward with the chief's recommendations for four officers Seth Hilton, Travis Burr, Steve Harold, and Brian Hall, all advancing to the next position upwards. Uh, is there a second? A second. Karen Grish is second. Are there any questions or comments? I assume the, the salaries are set for each position. Is that yes, correct? Yes, sir. You said after capital was assistant chief and chief, is that correct? 
after captain, if the actual official rank is major, major, okay. yeah, but the major position is the assistant chief position. I got you. Okay. The, you would never have two majors, though. No. Yeah. Well, not unless you're real, real big. Big, big. And I mean, do we have limitations on how many are at each level? No, sir. No. Well, there's nothing except like me. There's nothing in our SOPs or our handbook. Okay. Maybe it's if something, if you were out of town and were not able to, to go there, then the major is going to take over. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a chain of command. There's a chain of command. So, yeah. And if there are like, I have three lieutenants that goes by. We have call numbers that goes by time and service, okay. time on, you know, maybe like Steve and Brian both being promoted at the same time. Brian's been on the water, so Brian will have a higher call. Who are your other lieutenants then? Joe Nicholson is the lieutenant. And I have uh, um, Rodney Watts and uh, Travis Rutherford are sergeants. And I have, currently I have no captains. Okay. So basically, uh, if the Lord needs to men, then Joe Nicholson would have the seniority of the other. Yes, yeah, his call number is higher than this. Okay. Okay, we've got our team questions, comments in the second. Anything else? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. So move. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. We all appreciate it, too. Absolutely. Ms. Kent, you're up. Um, the only thing I have it may be another line item is the power agreement. Um, so you can mark that out if you're going to go to do that. But um, there is a location of the intersection of the tower already existing. Uh, it's a WJAA tower um, North 31 and um, State Road 250, the Uniontown exit. Um, that structure there, the radio station there is needing some service. So they were interested in getting service themselves, but we actually have a need there. Um, there's a customer base, and since that is a Jackson County uh, RMC territory, uh, I didn't want to do a longer term, like a normal year one, so I did it in six month increments, and that's why the agreement's a little different than some of the other ones uh, that we've done in the past, but it's for Rebecca and Brent Shetman are the owners of the property, but they operate under Social Butterfly Media LLC is the name of the company, but it's, that's the location of the tower. So I would just need a motion, or would like to make a recommendation for a motion to sign this agreement so we can put our equipment up on there and service them and then service additional customers. Well, there's a motion, what Christmas do you have? How, how many people is that? Oh, I don't have any questions about How many people is this service? How many customers will you have? Well, currently we have the one that's going to be immediate for that I'll pay for that service, and then we're going to be paying $15 more to the bike group. But then I already have um, three people that have interest in that area, but we've had existing customers or existing people that have requested service that we're going to resurvey. But we can't survey them until we have the equipment on the tower, but they look like line of sight that we're going to be able to pick up people that have requested before, and that area at that intersection just west of the interstate has a lot of homes and everything there, so we'll okay. be able to pick them up. Okay. So maybe they'll pick up more. Yeah, yeah. But again, without the equipment up there, some of the outskirting ones, we're not able to tell them until we actually have the equipment up there. Do we have a motion for uh, our license agreement for the Scottsford C3 and uh, located at the location given, which is Highway 31 North and, and Highway 250, which is on a social butterfly meeting LLC? It's six month contract. Okay, Karen seconds that. Are there any other questions or comments regarding this? Hearing none, all favor say aye. 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 Those like sign? Yeah. So fast. I Thank appreciate you it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very much. Yeah, it's big work. All I have for you tonight was a handful of sewer adjustments that you guys need to sign off on. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you. How was your, how was your, your, your reprieve? It was not long enough. Not long enough. I probably enjoyed spending some time with my family.
my kids and we just hung out around the house. So and, and what are the ages of your children? Uh, my youngest just turned one in July, and then uh, my oldest will turn three next month. So they're a lot of fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you had a great time. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go down to new business. Uh, the first thing on there is the mayor's field assistant approval of cell phone site. Is that it? Yes. That is for Michelle Kazaya, who is the, the, doing code enforcement, um, which that position falls under the title of mayor's field assistant. And so that would be for a $50 stipend a month because she's using her phone to take pictures and video of properties around the community as well as calling people and so forth. Michelle Kazaya is kind of taking the place where Brad Eaton was at, just to give you a heads up. Brad Deaton had been up to the mayor's office and, and his first love was just fine. And so we found a place to possibly get a grant that would pay his salary and you know, the person saw for a couple of years, two and a half years possibly. So we have a grant application. And and you know, we had several calls today. And I guarantee you Brad is the first guy out. I mean, it's just he just his first love was just fire. And so uh, we had kind of a lateral move. Uh, and I asked Miss Michelle uh, that I want to give you three weeks to make sure you're, you're okay with this. And uh, to go through the city of Scottsdale, we've probably issued close to 200 citations right now. And probably another 200 to issue a couple. And, uh, you, know, you know, this grass and weeds brings in a whole new diet into what we're doing. And uh, you know, so, uh, but she is. She has just been doing exceptionally well. She's very uh, organized and everything, and they're taking pictures, and, and they have made a great combination team. So we're still using Brad to some degree. Uh, but Michelle is, has kind of taken the lead on this. And we are continuing every day and every week to have more properties cleaned up coming into ordinance. The problem is some folks are letting it get back into it after they've cleaned it up once or twice. And so we have some legislation tonight to look at that it might be you know, a repeat offender type of thing. So that's that's kind of what that's for. I might have a motion to take the credit the phone stipend. Well, Douglas makes the motion on phone stipend. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, any other questions, comments? Hearing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Those like sign so fast. The next is a contract for cleaning services. Cleaning services uh, are such that we had two custodial ladies, and um, uh, one's retired, and, and they were you know they were very helpful with each other. And when one retired, the other one said, you know, I really kind of want to retire as well. Uh, and so both of them resigned the positions. And so what we've done, instead of hiring people back there, we just want to contract this for them. So as you can see on in your section here, and we have a janitorial service here, and it's basically uh, is a with K and K cleaning services, and uh, they're they're going to be cleaning the city hall, the police station. Now, why does Chief Zellers get it and the rest of the departments do not? Chief Zellers and his crew carry a lot of hardware on them already. And so then they have to do the cleaning. We didn't want them to have to, you know, uh, do this. So basically, we've, we've asked KK Clean Services to clean the police station, the train depot, and the Mid America Science Park up to three times. So this is the contract. The maximum amount that we pay is, is twenty-two thousand dollars. So uh, that for a year, so for each month, for a year. Will he be sanitizing it? Sanitizing, absolutely, absolutely. 
He's basically he's been playing some of ours, right? Or he's been playing ours for a while. He's doing a good job. Uh, he does a great job, and you know, he's in here at times. So, you know, Skinner and I kind of had a contest who's here, who here's the, the longest. And if I'm leaving for she is, I said, You got the lights, and she was right, she said, You got the lights. But typically, you know, we'll see, we'll see K and K coming in about the same time we're leaving, and, and there's times he's here at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, but he does a, he does a, he does a good job, and it's very economical for the city. So, if you say that. So, uh, and you can see if you have a chance to look at the, the service agreement and, and you know, there is a, an out clause for either one of us as well. So if we, if we no longer wanted to do that, or he no longer wanted to do this as well, then there's an out clause. Uh, Counselor, do you have anything to say on this one as well? Not. There, there was a voice from beyond. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that Darth Vader thing. And, uh, yeah. uh, okay, then uh, we will entertain a a, uh, a motion to uh, to go forward the contract for cleaning service with King. I'll make the motion. Second motion. Sharon Griches makes the motion to go forward with the janitorial service with King. King. Second by Tom Lewis. Any other questions, comments, concerns? And then all favor say aye. Aye. All right. Opposed, like, sign. So good. The next thing we have is the 2020 1 resolution for the Board of Works and Safety for the City of Scott to dispose of real estate pursuant to Ordinance 36 1 11 5. Now, what this is, if you turn over in your handbook, uh, this is the property here that is located on the actual address is 171 North Washington Street. And what has happened here is City of Scottsford, I believe. Did we not take the house down? Mm -hmm. We took the house down, mm -hmm. disposed of the house, have been mowing the property, and we have we're now wanting to put the property up for sale. What I'd like to try to do is property that the city owns. We would like to start selling, disposing of that property. Instead of us, and I, what I want to do is to sell it to people who want to build a house. So that way, I, I need to get our assessed value of $30 million. So I'm really not looking to sell to some guy who wants to park a car there or his boat there. I really want to sell somebody who's going to build a house. So, you know, we would like to be able to put this property up for bid. We've had two appraisals. We'll see in your packet that you know that we're we're going to want to have twelve thousand forty dollars. If you if anybody wants to buy the lot and build your dream home, we have a deal for you at twelve thousand forty dollars. So come on down to City Hall and put your bid in. So but anyway, I want to bring this before Board of Works this evening uh, to pass a resolution to go forward and deliberate this property. We have a motion to do so. That's a good question, Councillor. Is that? Did you hear that? It does not have to go to council. It's not about fifty thousand. Fourth worst is the purchasing and selling agent of the city, except for under certain circumstances that they usually they price value. So this would be the uh, you would make the final call on this. The twelve thousand. Uh, $40 number also includes under statute when proceeding with this low of assessment value, uh, we are to set an offering price which includes present fee, college service, of course, everything basically. So that $12,040 to a buyer will basically be all in, all done, plus the fees, everything. And folks, if you're watching here tonight and you want to make a much higher offer, please come on down. So, uh, uh, other questions? Good question. Okay, hearing none, then I will entertain a motion to go forward with this resolution 2020 1 to liquidate uh, the real estate here in Washington. Okay. Almost makes a motion. Is there a second? I have a second. Second by Karen Griches. Any other questions, comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 
Opposed? Like sign? So move it. Okay. Uh, the last thing is tower license agreement. Oh, <laughs> Okay, claims. Now we're ready for this one. If those are any comments or questions about any of the claims, or if not, I'll be open for a motion to approve them. So, just the, these are claims for the various electric waters or etc. Not water, but yes, no, those are the gifts. No, that is paper. Yes, yeah, you should. Yeah, we always have you all. Pardon? Because he's the water board. And we have the water board oh, yeah. signing okay. payroll, just like so the next the white ones. Or those are payroll also. The white one is the city. That's our city license. And then the purple and the white. Uh, we started offering both to the boards because the water board sometimes like to look at their vouchers to just see the overtime that might be on that. Let me maybe ask a stupid question. When some of these employees have various lines, some of it's paid by electric and some of it's paid by uh, different ones, yes, Tom. Why, yes. why is there not a total for that employee? If there's just a way we do a, the split among the partners. I'm, it's I'm saying you have to, uh, whoever this person is here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different lines. Why isn't there just a total for those right here? So you can see that that's what they're giving me. The total is, well, if you look on to the voucher, it shows that. Which that is. one shows, um, yeah, there's yes. the voucher, yes. And if you go to the right there on those, it will show their growth wages. The other four so shows. Here. Yes. Okay. Uh, we split percentages among our departments so then right. that each, yeah, per the salary or Okay. Gotcha. Clear as mud. Yeah, you might try to make it complicated. I know, I know. It's, it's a tough system. That's why Melina's not here tonight. She's back there working on payroll. Of those as presented. As presented. Okay. Almost makes the motion. Is there a second to that? Uh, second. Very gracious second. Any other questions, comments about the claim? Hearing none. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, right. like sign. Hearing none. All right. What else do you have? This the only thing I might add, just so this board is aware, that we have uh, met with council and the mayor has met with our budgeted department heads last uh, Friday. We feel very positive um, about the steps that needed to be taken so we can submit a um, budget that can be funded by just using one third of the city's cash reserves, like we did when all three of you were in council. So we are. We feel positive, and the department heads, as always, have worked very nicely with us. They were all there basically on Friday to make make some cuts as requested by by the mayor. So we're we're just waiting on the state to get it where we can upload uh, what all we have to upload to them. And I can tell you, this is my you know I've been on the side where you approve the budget, not on the side you know. Kind of presenting the budget. So we've had that. I came to Jan's office probably, I don't know, six weeks ago. We work, we've been working since the first of June, meeting every Wednesday. And yes, we've had a learning experience, and it's a little different sitting in that seat, isn't it? It is. You know, I, I came here and said, I don't know what I don't know. So I need to be able to be tutored on this. And so uh, we had several things, and, and uh, but I feel very positive, I, don't you? Yes, yes. About the budget and, and we're, we're trying to anticipate what the two years were being told by the state that in 2022 we might realize more of an impact from COVID than what we do for 2021. So we're we're just trying to prepare for that like like we did when we had the circuit breaker back in 2010. 
And this all came down in March. I went to Jan, I told her, so where would we I knew we were going to lose that coit. And, and I felt the property taxes aren't going to be paid like they would be, which is going to lower our money coming in. So I knew we were going to be hit. I said, you know, kind of let's try to button down the hatches here. And we were hit. <laughs> so, yes, yes. And it's the way the state is doing our allocations. It's like, we're not going to be hit this year, but next year they will, what we would get, it's going to be projected on, they're going to give us 14 months, and then the next year we would just be receiving 10 months, but divided by 12, is what they're saying. But that could be subject to change. You just have to wait and say. We had a whole other problem in that Mid-American Science Park was not in last year's budget. So now that create a whole new mechanism and that we had to try to find the money to put that in and then to try to come up with the money in a COVID-19 environment. Tough, tough, tough. So, but anyways, folks, it looks like we, uh, uh, services won't be cut. Services will not be cut. And we have great department heads. I need to have three of them here. So, uh, but, They've just all worked together as a team and it's just been fantastic. Thank you. As far as the uh, new sewer plant deal, uh, right, we've been able to get uh, off of the uh, sewer ban. Sewer ban is not going to be expected to probably be released until probably December 21. Uh, yeah, the sewer ban, you know, we are going to bring in the new plant will come online. The old plant will go offline and be retrofitted once the new plant is in. You're, oh, I, I'm so excited. I'm like a kid at Christmas with a sewer plant. Is that not crazy a lot? But, but you know, I mean, it's all new in that, and we're, and we're coming in at half a cost that it's proposed. So, uh, but we're going to have a new building, uh, all new, new, a new lift station. It's just going to be amazing. New screen system, new headwords. I mean, uh, the server man cannot be released until the new plant's in operation. That's correct. That is correct. So, uh, so that cannot, but you know, we have points that we earn. Uh, today, I mean, we had several culverts replaced, uh, some leaks that were stopped. We, we keep those leaks, we turn those into ID, and we get credits. So, right now, I have enough credits to probably build 318 houses. So, so it's not like we can't build. I just have to report every home to IDM to say, here's what we're doing. And when I report those homes, they take that many credits away. You know, so that's kind of how it's working. So it doesn't mean that we cannot, but we certainly cannot go gangbusters and bring in, you know, uh, you know, five per unit apartment. So, uh, good questions. What other questions? I have. Yes. The thing, sewer. Uh, like that one. Uh huh. The stone and stuff on it. Yes. Is there anything you can put to clean that up? Yes. I like spoke that. with Jerry Ash about that. Jerry, Jerry's working on that, and I mean, we had had a council in that mentioned at the last council meeting. Mm -hmm. You don't. Know, uh, what I was told last week by one of the employees, because Jerry was on vacation. They were working on that. They can only do so much in terms of along there because of the oxygen in the water. So they've got what I've noticed is the big end looking nice and the smell gone, but it's the small end. And that we still have the issue. The eastern side, a while back was the bad side. Now it's the wet side. And and so um, it has been increasing. As you see, there's areas. When you walk around it, that noise you hear when you walk around the thing. That's an air compressor blowing water out there, and you'll see those bubbles coming out. So we are aerating that, and, uh, and again, we are certainly uh, are trying to acquire more so we, so we put fish in there, a certain type of fish, you know, I know Purdue has, let's say, hey, you need to put this type of fish in. So again, I need to get more with Jerry, and, and, uh, and like he said, Jan says, you know, that we need to get more air going in there, so that's what we're doing right now. And if you notice the one side, it's pretty well resolved. There are other things going on in there. We're going to actually, we got a shelter house for uh, the folks at 
in, in, in the land of Oz. You ever seen the shell rise wave over there? It's, it's, it's very low. You know, I mean, I'm six foot one, and I know it's your chief dollars and I both get our heads on that when we go under. So we have stilts, we're going to get under. under. So stilts are coming soon to raise that up. And uh, we have a lot of ideas. We, we hope to incorporate a whole corn factory one of these days in that whole park system. We hope to put music around that whole way. Oh, the little corn factory look a lot better. Well, we have we have a lot more to do, but we're making we're making some beginning strides. You know, we're, we're shooting, firing a shot right over the back, and then we're going to get a clean gun. So, uh, oh, I you can see the difference now, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Looks good. So, uh, other questions, comments, and uh, one thing. That Ms. Randall brought up was the the welcome sign. The welcome sign, and I went out to purvey what she was talking about. And sure enough, we had Nancy boulders pushed into two massive poles, one a flag and one a line. And and semi trucks were trying to make that turn, but they have so much power it pushes those massive boulders over. We put a forklift on one and we went to raise up, well, that forklift came up like that. <laughs> but nonetheless, all of the boulders have been removed. We are now planning on recessing both the flag pole and the light pole down further away from the road. That's going to leave a lot more area for the trucks to come through and not hit our sign. If they hit our sign, we're going to look to go over. that far <laughs> away. They're that far away too. So, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, that's very quick, so thank you. I did not know that. And don't say screw on the face. You know that? You're both cold, screw on the face. I didn't know that. But now, yeah. it's like it's got, it's got like a screw thing. You put that hole on it, screw it. I was impressed. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, onward and forward. And, matter of fact, we asked to have another sign made because that sign is showing where. We're taking that sign down, putting a new sign up, and we'll have this sign redone so we can change those out every, you know, two or three years since it starts to put a little more. You know, so, so hey, great questions, comments. Keep you anything else for us, buddy? Good. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Counselor, you have anything for us, buddy? I do not. Okay. Hey, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you in 30 minutes.